Well, clearly, we're really excited uh, with that win. Uh, it was kind of a unique game from the standpoint where I thought we came out with a great first period and uh, took the play to BU. Tomas made some big saves, but I thought we overall carried the play. And the second period was just the opposite. In the third period, there wasn't a whole lot going on. It was just uh, they were dumping pucks, and it was hard for us to generate any offense. Um, you know, we were trying to get pucks to the blue paint, and we just couldn't do it. So I thought they were managing the game really well. We pulled the goalie, and uh, Ben tied the game up. And then all of a sudden, I thought we were energized. And the key was, you know, last week we lost a very tough overtime game up at Maine. And we talked about, when we watched the film, how we sat back in that overtime. We were playing for the one point. And we said as a team, if we get into overtime again, which we will, we're not going to sit back. We're going to learn from that. And sure enough, uh, that's all the kids were saying on the bench. And uh, we were able to go out. And Ben made a terrific play to Sasha to win the game on the first shift of overtime. So it's a big win for our club. Questions? With the way the, um, the standings obviously are so bunched up, that's, that's a four-point swing in basically a minute of game time. Just what, what, what is that like to get that type of win that fast? You love that four-point swing. You say that every game is a four-point game. Uh, I, I look at it as it's two points for our team. I, I'm really, um, I've said this time and time again, I don't look at the standings. Uh, we don't have to scoreboard watch. We control our own destiny, and that's what I want the kids in that room thinking. Uh, don't worry about what other teams are doing. Let's worry about what we're doing and how we're playing, and uh, everything will take care of itself. So uh, I'm just looking at it as that's a big two points for our team. You've got to be happy with the hockey gods that were smiling on you. And it's not rare that a six foot five guy like Freeman can hide like that, but he didn't usually behind that goal line because he was just reaching just part of the game. Yeah, hockey gods reward uh, teams that play the right way. And I think we're a team that plays the right way. And, uh, you know, if you're continually doing things, and we kept that puck in, we got it low, and Ben went to the net, and, you know, we got a shot on net and a rebound, and uh, that's how you got to play the game. Uh, if you look at all the goals that were scored tonight, with the exception maybe of the, the first one for BU, everything was within three feet of the net. And that's where you have to play the game. Got the leadership again. Freeman had the big goal last week. Obviously, the big game tying goal tonight. Highest off alternate captain. Another game winner against BU. What does it do for a bit of a younger team down the stretch here? Some important hockey to have the leaders step up and shine in the biggest moments. You know, as long as I've been coaching, it's always your seniors that lead the team. And yes, we have some very talented young players uh, in their. They bring a lot of skill and energy to our team, but the guys that drive the bus are our seniors, and, you know, and Adam Karashek and some of our juniors. But you need that type of veteran leadership to show these guys when times get tough because they've been through that. You know, that was kind of one of our messages today that, you know, when, when adversity hits, are you going to wilt? You know, are you going to stay the same or are you going to use that to catapult yourself to be even better? And, and I think that's what they. That's their greatest attribute, that they're able to let the kids know, we've been through this before, guys. You know, you got to stay with it, and you'll be rewarded. The team also showed a lot of perseverance. They were able to handle pressure. They had the team of they get that 3-2 lead. They put a lot of pressure on their defense. They were very physical. And the team, they were really hold up against that. Yeah, we, uh, I thought in the second period, they really started to offensively get numbers on the rush on us. I, I think that they, they did a good job of creating not so much odd man rushes, but like three on threes with a back checker and they had a fourth guy going and we had to as a team mitigate that or it was going to be a really long night. And uh, I thought at one of the timeouts, um, we, we talked a lot about that, that we had to get back pressure and we couldn't let their defensemen beat us up ice. But they're a good hockey team. God, I mean, they, they've got some great players and uh, tomorrow night's going to be another battle and, and war at Aganis. Talk about the crowd tonight, especially how loud they were in the first. 
You know, it's uh, it's fantastic. I think uh, they've been with us all year long. Even when we started two five and one, you know, that crowd was uh, supporting us, and it was uh, you know electric in there. And especially when uh, we tied the game, I think that certainly uh, energized our team. You know, they're, they're uh, but that, that's how they've always been since the day I started coaching here. From the very first game, they've always been uh, an enthusiastic and committed crowd. Any time your defense can hold the Trevor's defense to just one shot and roll in the game, that's to say a lot about the team defense. Yeah, and I think that'll be very tough to do tomorrow night, but it is. It's a team game, and he's a exceptional player, and uh, we're going to have to be even better tomorrow night if we want to uh, come out of there with two points. You didn't have a ton of opportunities in the second and third until that last minute. It was like 39 minutes of, you know, the, 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 the crowd got kind of uh, quiet. And then the last minute, you get the six on five advantage, the crowd gets back into it. What did you see that changed in that short time? <laughs> um, we started to, at the end of that third period, uh, just throw pucks at the net and try to create something. I thought we were a little too cute and a little too perimeter for a while. Uh, and some of it was just BU was taking it to us. You know, they're, they're a really good hockey team. And they were pay playing better than we were. So um, I think when we started to get some pucks uh, towards the net in the third period, right before we scored, we got a couple there and had a couple chances. And then, you know, six on five, uh, we got a bounce. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you.